this is an article uh, from the, it's from People Magazine, and it was about Drake. And uh, when I was looking for stuff today, uh, the article itself referenced an incident that happened at the Grammys last year, but then other people are listing in the comment section, not related to the article, have other theories, which I actually really, really like. So this article is from People Magazine, well, from People Online, and it says, Drake withdraws his two 2022 Grammy Award nominations after critiquing the Recording Academy last year. So that's what I initially thought mm. they were talking about, and we'll, we'll get into it in here. Uh, and this is uh, from Tomas Meyer and Sarah Michaud. Uh, so it says right here, Drake's music won't be considered for a Grammy next month. Drake, 35, and his management have withdrawn his Grammy Award nominations for the cer album Certified Lover Boy, which was up for Best Rap Album and Way Too Sexy, which was nominated for Best Rap Performance, People Magazine can confirm. The Recording Academy has honored his ask, uh, has honored his ask Variety was first to report. Without Drake's work nominated... Uh, there are four nominations in each category. Without Way Too Sexy, those, uh, those up for Best Performance are Baby Keem and Kendrick Lamar for Family Ties, Cardi B for Up, J. Cole for uh, and 21 Savage, and Moray for My Life, and Megan Thee Stallion with... <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce that one. Thought S. <laughs> we're not we're, we're family friendly here we try we to be, are we try to be family friendly but fun fact about thought um i want to as a joke name i was like if i had a daughter i would name her thought patrol of course you would <laughs> patrol <laughs> yeah why because she's patrolling though what the <laughs> thought that would be her name it was a joke name but um but when i said that to my friends they're like you know what just revoke her um, having a child card. Yeah, well, or at least the name privileges. The uh, boyfriend's going to have to pick the name. You don't get the name. Well, I was just joking about it. I don't want to name a sure. girl that. Well, like another joke name that I wanted to name a baby girl was Parrot. Because <laughs> she'd be mocking me. Oh, my God. You can, you can do this with animals, you know. I, I know. Just, just you get don't a dog, get a cat, you know. You don't have to have a kid to give it a ridiculous name. <laughs> no, I know. At least I'm not naming my kid Pikachu like people in Japan. Far less likely that a ridiculous name will ruin a pet's life than ruin a human being's life. Just I saying. I know, I know. But you know these are joke names. I oh, wouldn't yes. name a real child that. Sure, sure. It's okay. I'll name one of them Breddy. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to continue reading. <laughs> so in the album category, the nominees were J. Cole's The Offseason, uh, Nas King's Disease, uh, Disease 2, Tyler the Creator's Call Me If You Get Lost, and Kanye West Donda. There, there was a long debate here mm -hmm. about uh, in this house about Kanye West versus, uh, um, versus Drake this mm -hmm. year uh, with Shane Cashman, uh, who was actually one of the first guests we had on the show here. Mm -hmm. Very big fan. Him and... Him and uh, um, who Dane. else? Dane. 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 Uh, Dane is our we literally call them Donda boys. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm part of the Donda boys, okay, by the way. There you go. Yeah. So you would so, have had a strong yeah. opinion on this either way. Hey. Of course. That you would have wanted Kanye West to win best but album. Hey, of course. But hey, you know who was on my side for Drake? It was Nick and then one of um, Alex Jones' employees. So, ha. Well, as, so, as long yeah. as one of Alex oh. Jones' employees said so, I guess that's fine. But I, I was with you. I, I was Donda all the way. My oh. personal, way. My, yeah. my personal well, taste. Well, the only reason why I said I didn't really like Donda that much because mm. I thought it was too preachy. That was the whole argument. It's like he's re he's kind of religious now, Kanye West. So uh, yeah. preachiness comes with the territory mm -hmm. on that. It's uh, I love that album. Mm -hmm. I, I was a huge fan of that album. So definitely. Uh, Where's Nick when I need him? <laughs> I know, right? It was like we need to call him up here, pause the show, and have him come up and be like, come join our pirate podcast at this location we're not supposed to be, <laughs> and give us your opinion on why Certified Lover Boy was better than Donda. And he's like, Certified? What? Oh we didn't even know that was the name of the album. He's what? like, I'm working right now. Don't do this. <laughs> So uh, the article continues. The rapper's decision comes a year after he criticized the award shows for not nominating The Weeknd for any awards after the high level of success of his album After Hours and its hit single Blinding Lights. Uh, at the time, the rap star said, quote, I think we should stop allowing ourselves to be shocked every year by the disconnect between impactful music and these awards and just accept that once 
uh, that what once was the highest form of recognition may no longer matter to artists, to the artists that exist now and the ones that come after. So he's kind of saying that the reward show, that the award shows, reward, that the award shows are kind of useless now, which a lot of people that we know have been saying for a very long time. Drake yeah. said that. That's that, a Drake quote. Yeah, that was a Drake quote. I Amen, mean, he, man. He's saying it in the context of like another mainstream artist who didn't get the recognition he thought he deserved, right? But we have been saying this about movies. I mean, every year, what movies get nominated is inevitably going to cause arguments with people as people mm -hmm. just think, you know, they're out of touch. They always, you know, they literally have what's called award show season for movies, meaning that they always release them right around the same time because they know they're perfect and fresh in people's minds so that they can be nominated for awards. Mm -hmm. So it's man emotionally manipulative and it's all just rich, you know, vapid celebrities patting themselves on the back about their great work. Uh, which, you know, the average everyday, average everyday person is just like, what? I, I don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, to me, celebrity worship, given what we're doing here, to me, it's weird. Like, the people that love, like, hearing about celebrities, like, personally, not, yeah. not news, but, like, are really into, like, their relationships with other celebrities. Mm -hmm. Like the Kim Kardashians. Yeah. Uh, the Kim Kardashians. The I love Kim the Kardashians. <laughs> they don't that was pretty boomer. I know. <laughs> like, the, the Facebook. I love the Kim Kardashians. Like, something my dad would say. I know, but, like, imagine that. Like, the Kardashians were, like, such the biggest things, but now nobody cares, and they're trying to bring them up, like, with Chloe Kardashian, and I'm like, nobody really cares about no, no, Chloe. I care. I care. <laughs> Their show is tremendous. What about what really? happened to Courtney? Yeah. What happened to Courtney? I don't We're care. I, you know, I drop in and out, but every episode yeah. that I watch, I it's so great. I almost levitate out of my seat. That's true. Um, I literally can't tell if you're joking right now or not. He has I, a deadpan I, face. Yeah, I know. That's that's a fair comment. But no, I, I genuinely, jo all joking aside, I enjoy watching every episode of the Kardashians that I get to watch. Why? It's, I don't know. I, I, I think I've avoided analysis, uh, like analyzing why I feel that way. I suppose that would be like, like I watch a lot of like older TV shows that I feel don't need to be like, they're, they're good enough to watch episodes with something on in the back as something on in the background, but they're not ripe for high, uh, high intellect, uh, analysis. Right. <laughs> Well, it's uh, it's kind of the opposite, unfortunately, with keeping up with Kardashians, <laughs> because because it's one of those things like the show is on. I'm just like, eh, who cares? Yeah. And then five minutes later, I'm just like, what did Scott say? What <gasps> you know? <laughs> I don't I don't know if it's the way that they film it. I don't oh, know yeah, if oh, it's just they're mm, attractive. That, that's I an mean, art. It's an art style. You think to, they're to attractive? Film. Yes, of course they are. Objectively, so. Oh. See how he said that with like authorities? Yeah. Like you don't get to be the cool. You don't get to be like like edgy and be like they're not attractive well i think mm. kendall's really attractive i think she's mm. really attractive and i'm happy that she didn't go the approach to, like how the rest of them did where they touched up on a couple of things mm, she's sure. somewhat i can't believe we're talking about the kardashians right now i'm my sorry bad. i didn't mean to derail <laughs> See, us i had another point <laughs> yeah um i kind of love it but mm -hmm. i'm kind of like oh my but god continue chris well we were talking about award shows mm -hmm. and you know they, they are irrelevant and i think they've been irrelevant for a while um, the Grammys, it looks like they started in uh, 1959. I don't mm -hmm. know. You can fact check me on that. Uh, I think maybe the first major award show was the Academy Awards in 1929. It, it, based on what I understand about it, the Academy Awards were invented because in the, in the late teens and early 20s, Hollywood had its reputation for being, you know, these just uh, like basically an orgy of libations and like bad behavior and so what it's like stuff. now just right. without the good pr so exactly so mm -hmm. that's why the academy awards came around in 1929 is because they wanted to prove mm -hmm. to the world that this is a very upstanding reasonable people they're not they're not out there you know uh, mm -hmm. doing all these things that the rags were saying that they were so th this whole system was created to essentially make these people look like something that they're not. Well, yeah, that's you know? true. And now at this point, I mean, we're we're through the looking glass. We're in the internet era. Mm -hmm. So who needs that kind of fakery? Yeah. Like it's, yeah. you see right through it and it's You see right and, yeah. through it. And to most mm -hmm. people who are, if your average everyday person sees it and it just looks like excess and it's them patting themselves on the back about their great work and nobody actually wants to hear, you know, the, to me, when I hear celebrities talk, like when I hear virtue signaling from celebrities, I turn it off almost immediately. Mm -hmm. And that's what all, all these award shows have kind of spiraled into. You're dreading every award because you have to hear the person get up and give their uh, self, uh, self-important speech about whatever their cause is, whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. And the average everyday person who goes and works nine to five, comes home and is just looking to be entertained, is just like, I do not need you lecturing me. That's true. And that's what these award shows have mm -hmm. turned into. What he's talking about here is almost less 
insulting because he's talking about another person in his industry, Mm -hmm. right? So I almost feel like him going to bat for somebody on his same level of success is different than him talking about causes he probably doesn't actually care about and just wants brownie points for. Well, do you think it's because also they made fun of him when he came out with the um, song Start It From The Bottom? Because he started from the middle. He started from the middle <laughs> and like then a, became he, even higher. He was higher. on Degrassi and they're like... Uh, it's pronounced Degrassi. I, I don't know. I thought it was pronounced... It sounds like the same thing. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so he st- he didn't start from the bottom. He started from like the upper middle class. Yeah. Well, mm. I thought he was that on the bother. Mickey Mouse um, no. clubhouse thing. Mm-hmm. It's uh, he yeah he might I mean a lot of those actors from that mm. generation if mm-hmm. he's you know if he started that what long ago he's a packaged program you that's know? true and uh-huh. also um, Chris yeah you were right I just fact checked you it, the first reward was in 1929 mm. but the first broadcast by radio was in 1930s mm. and mm. the oldest one was the Academy Awards mm. the wow. and the reason I brought this article up because we're not even going to get to the bottom of it mm-hmm. uh, that's not the theory a lot of people are promoting online a lot of people are saying it has more to do with astroworld and the fact that he's named in the lawsuits uh for what happened you know during the the rush from the stage and everything that's going on with travis scott Mm -hmm. so they think that he's just looking to avoid the the promotion right now and maybe he sees it as a bad look either in business sense meaning that he shouldn't be looking to get patted on the back as he's a co-defendant on a lawsuit for two billion dollars uh, so that could be why as well as his team just doesn't see it as uh, a good move to be in the spotlight right now for self, you know, for congratulatory reasons. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. He's that selfless. He's that aware. I, well, I don't know if it's selfless. I think it's good business. Mm. Uh, if, if, it, if it helps him look less, uh, you know, less tone deaf, then it's not selfless. It's good business on his own part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I, I sense a kind of selflessness when he's like sticking up for the weekend. Yes. You know, mm-hmm. that the previous year, which is which is interesting. You know, I mean, um, i probably wouldn't have anticipated that kind of move from a rapper yeah, much that's less true. Drake. but also like on this article here they're talking about that that incident was a year ago now so mm-hmm. they already had submitted because to be a, a nominated you have to submit your work so they did submit and then they withdrew mm-hmm. so they made the initial conscious effort to submit the album and that song for consideration and then it's nominated and then he withdraws later what's changed since then so we've got two different uh, entities essentially trying to create a, a narrative yep. out of this announcement. And you got mm-hmm. the the people making comments, and then you also got Pe- uh, People Magazine. Yep. Yeah. But we we haven't heard an official announcement as to why he. Yeah, it doesn't okay. list why. So, right. but he almost gets better publicity by withdrawing than he does just by being nominated. He's already mm-hmm. won uh, mm-hmm. Grammys in the past. If he wins, it's just another Grammy. But this article looks fantastic. I mean, we're talking about it, so yeah. technically, yeah. he it's done its job. Yep, basically it's just another paperweight for him yep. if he wins. So it doesn't really matter. But also, why do we care about this? Like, as you said, mm. like nobody cares about reward shows anymore. After they took away Victoria's Secret, I gave up. Yes, that is that was very, <laughs> that was tragic. I know. I'm that, still upset about it. That, and Miss Universe. That's the decline of Western civilization mm-hmm. right there, my friend. Miss Universe and Miss America. Now all, they're all gone. What are we going to do without them? I don't know. I don't know. I, I think the Astro World story makes the most sense. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just seems like good PR. Maybe it so. could be, but mm, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I mean, I, d- I doubt they ever like make like an actual announcement as to why he did it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. We'll, we'll see.